Hi, Diamond Painting friends. It's Linda with Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you all stopping by and taking the time to watch the video. Today, I have a post thoughts review um, or post thoughts video. It's just my thoughts on the, the diamond painting. And this one is from Gems Flow. It's from the, I got it from the makers of the Gems Flow app. I just thought it would be kind of like a way to support them for the app. I love the app, by the way. Um, it's been, I've been putting all my diamond paintings that, in there, except the ones from Diamond Art Club, because I, I don't want to add all those in. I already have all those stickers out that I could look, look at the diamond painting. So the only time I'm adding those ones in is when I start them, and then I add it to the start section of the Gems Flow app. But anyway, so this one is Coffee Owl. I just absolutely love it. I think it came out really, really good com considering it's, it's most likely computer um, generated with the rendering. It's not like hand charted or rendered or anything. So this is a 40 by 53. And I think I measured it and it was like accurate with the diamond painting area being 40 by 53 centimeters and it has 29 colors. I kitted this up, okay, well, I started this June 24th and I finished it July 29th and it took me 20, 25 days to complete. Uh, I probably worked, I this is what I call my nap time painting because I worked on this while the kids were having their quiet time. The one-year-old napped and the three-year-old um, sat in the living room watching a movie while I diamond painted. So that is when I completed this. I probably, I don't even know how, I, I want to get back to recording my hours, but that just hasn't happened yet. So I don't know how long this took me. I probably could have looked on some of the other diamond paintings of this size to see, but um yeah, I didn't, I don't know how many hours. I just really do want to get back to recording, recording my hours. So let's see. So this is the original image. I think it's kind of like a, just a stock photo. I've seen this in other, on Amazon. I've seen this image in other small, not small shops, but you know, uh, what, are, what are they called? The budget shops. I've seen them in there. Or I've seen this image in there and I've been wanting to get it so yeah so I was happy that it was was one of their selections although there are a few more that I would like to get and maybe I will get one next year um so with this one I I don't I I don't think this is poured glue I'm not sure to tell you the truth here's the back let me show you the back it does have some some of these I don't know what I don't think these are rivers because they really don't show up on the other side. Let me see. Let me lay it down so you can. So there was one like up here. I don't really see it on this side. I wish I could just like move this up and down. And um, so, but when I was working on this, the glue could be peeled up. So, and it wasn't easy to slide. There was enough stick on the canvas, but it wasn't easy to slide the diamonds around so I would have to use my single placer and kind of pick them up and move it so they just they didn't just slide I could push them but it looked like the glue was kind of getting pushed as well so I don't know it had a clear cover so that's what's really confusing me because usually when it's that double-sided adhesive or uh, whatever it's called it's usually the white cover on it so I don't know. I don't know what it was, but, um, oh, and then there is some fraying. Let's see. Let me take my glasses off here. See how there's some like right here. Let's see. And there's some right here. So it's not, as you can see, um, like poked and scalloped and all that. But I just did this one for fun. I really wanted to have the little owl with the coffee. I think it came out 
good the um there the drills aren't popping up but i am missing one right here that v i need to put that back the little three-year-old got to my diamond painting and he likes to go like this but he likes to get his like fingernail under that too um see how there's like all this kind of confetti here or i guess i wouldn't be confetti confetti since i mean you do have you could get your four placer in here but yeah, so there are like some colors in here that I think they probably could have, if it was hand charted. So that's why I'm thinking it's it's just kind of computer generated. And like right here, you can tell that's a coffee bean, but you can't tell what the words are. But from a distance, it's I like it. It's sparkly. So and I had a I had a good time working on it. Um, right now I am working on. A butterfly diamond painting from Bella Art Diamonds and I'm also working on a Randall Spangler so many books a little time and I am really enjoying those those both are square this is a round and again let me show you up close let me take my glasses off so I am really really enjoying my uh, the other two I could just once I started I was like I could tell the quality difference right away but this one's not bad. I would buy another one. I probably wouldn't buy a super large one just because of the glue. The glue again was sticky, but it just wasn't, um, I don't, I'm pretty sure it wasn't poured glue. So. But overall everything, everything looks good. And then I, let's see, I got these release papers from Crafts with Crashly. So here are the diamonds. I put them in one of these containers with the large, I guess people call these large Tic Tac because these are the smaller ones. And I was able to, um, I wanted them to all fit in here. So sometimes, actually they would have, I guess right here, but I didn't have so many of these ones. So I guess that's why I use these. I don't normally like these little Tic Tac ones, but when I have like just a tiny bit of drills, when I'm using these larger square Tic Tac containers, I like to add a few of these in, and I just think two of them will fit in one area. So these are the colors, and let's see. Let's put that under so you can see. And you can see that there's, um, and it wasn't missing any drills. There were plenty of them. I think this is, oh, let's see. Oh, here it is. This one's the trash. This is all the trash I had, so I thought that was pretty impressive. Not not much trash, and of course these are not resin drills. These are um, acrylic. And I'm trying to think if there was anything confusing. Let's see. I don't think I would. I. Yeah, I don't think there was anything. I'm trying to remember. I was going to write a little. I'm trying to re to write more of my experience as I'm doing the diamond painting. But sometimes it just gets so busy that I, I still I need to do better with that. Because this is my notebook, my logbook. And I'm going to add. Oh, it's hot in here. I turned off the window unit ac unit so it wouldn't be so loud for y'all but it's getting it's getting pretty warm in here so i'm going to add this image i probably should take a picture and then see if my son will print it off for me uh, since he has a color printer but for now i'll just put this in there but see i didn't really write too much i want to do better with these as well like do more decorating with them but yeah, right now it's just, I need to get some stickers. That, that'll be fun to do that. So anyway, I guess that's it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, this was my 24th all-time finish. So and since I've been diamond painting, I've, I've completed 24 diamond paintings. And for 2024, it's only my fifth diamond painting, but I'm just thankful that I have another one done. And yeah, and then I, I think what I'm going to start doing is writing in the back. Like I wrote right here. 
um, the day I completed it. My is my fifth diamond painting of 2024 and all time is 24th diamond painting. So I think I'm gonna start doing that to keep track of things. But that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And let me know what you think of this little owl. Um, I just thought it came out really cute. Oh, and just really quick with the diamonds. Um, I should have brought a tray to show you. But I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna save them. They're not really like really bad or anything, but. Yeah, I'm not sure. I need to just throw them out. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to save them. Let me see another one. Let's see, focus. Well, maybe I will. I don't see. They don't. They didn't. I mean, there wasn't that much trash, and they are. They are pretty sparkly. I just don't really have any budget diamond painting diamonds so and to me this this was more like a budget um it was it wasn't like a budget price i paid like 30 something dollars for it i believe or maybe 25.99 or something like that so it wasn't a budget price but it's a budget budget in the material i would say so but they it is so yeah i just don't have any budget diamonds right now but, you know, maybe I will save them. They don't look too bad. They are pretty shiny. So, anyway, that is what I have for you today. If you are here to the end, I really, really appreciate it. Um, why don't we put, like, a little owl emoji or coffee emoji. So, again, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. This will probably be my only... Only, um... Video app. I, I don't have time or I don't really don't have anything else to i would love to do some kit ups because I, I know i know i have tons of of uh, whips but i do want to kit up um that cowboy one from bell art dana cole or bell art diamonds and then that real pretty window one from dreamer designs and then i have one from my my uh i want to do a cross stitch tia over at tia's crazy craft addiction they are doing an event for a cross stitch and I've been wanting to, to start my cross is it cross stitch conversion yeah cross stitch conversion for a long time uh, and I think I'm gonna do the Aurora I don't plan on finishing it of course I just want to start it but I think her event already started it's from August to October so I think what I'm gonna do is start that one in September and hopefully get so many books so little time completed and the butterfly. I don't know. And I haven't even worked on my toadstool cottage this month because I really, I just been having a really fun time with the um, the other two. So maybe I will at least do half of a section on that one. So yeah, I know it's kind of hard. Anyway, yes, I know you all think I'm crazy, <laughs> um, but that's where I'm at with my diamond painting. So I really do. I finally got. The containers for my cross stitch conversion for Aurora and my son finally printed off the stickers and so I, I did add all the stickers to the containers but I still need to you know kit up at the diamonds so anyways I would love to do that with you all but I don't know um, it just depends the kids might be going home this at the end of this month I'm not sure so we'll see if they do then maybe I will have a chance to kit up at least the cross stitch conversion with you all Okay, I always do that. I always say I'm going to end it. So if you're still here, put a double owl. <laughs> Thank you so much. You all have a great day. Bye.